Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Baron Kazooie. This is Tayman2037. And we're going to tackle World 5 today, Freeze Easy Peak. If you've been watching, you recall that I skipped over that world. I just went inside to learn a move, and then I went to Gobi's Valley. But today we're going to go back to Freeze Easy Peak, and I'd say that's easily one of my most favorite worlds in the game. So, let's get to it. 55 jigsaws already, yet not even two hours played. So I'm feeling pretty confident about my time. Like I said, I've never actually played through the game 100% and saw my time on the Xbox Live leaderboard. I think the one time I did, I didn't have internet connection. And then for some reason, it, it w didn't update my score when I did have internet connection. So we'll see, but, but that is... We still have four more worlds to go, so it won't be for a while, but I'm hoping it'll be sometime this week before I get my wisdom teeth out, because who knows if I'll be in good enough condition to talk and do these LPs. A lot of memories from Freeze Easy Peak. Snowman, definitely. Love the snowman. I just think one of the greatest scenes from the game is when you're going down when you go down this slope here, and you just see the huge snowman facing you. And Boggy there, just being all fat and everything. He actually ate the Jiggy. I don't know why he did that. And we're gonna get started right away with the Christmas tree mission. You gotta protect these guys from getting munched up by the Twinkly Munchers. That's kind of sad when you watch them get eaten up. But 10 need to make it in there. It's important to take out this... It's important to make sure you get all, all of them as fast as you can. Sorry if I don't talk much while doing some of this stuff. I find it easier to concentrate. And I totally hit that guy before he ate the guy, but whatever. I like the little tune that plays here. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when that happens. But hopefully we should be good. And there we go. We got all ten in there. It's not too difficult. Although these, these enemies can be annoying. Especially how they split up like that. But it's not that bad. And I'm probably going to need to pick up some more eggs soon. And then we need to get up there fast. We're going to use the fly flying pad over here. We've already learned Beat Buster, but we actually don't use that. If I can remember where the flying pad is, and it's right there. I think we need to fly through it three times, so it's important to understand how your flying guy, how you'll control flying wise. Generally, you'll you'll fall down slightly as you're going, and it's hard to dive. Like it's hard to aim downwards, so it's important to give your spell, give yourself space, so you go downwards. The song, also one of my favorite in the game. Apparently we're not allowed to just land through the trees. Those are some pretty thick branches there. And I just saw that we lost some frames while recording. So, if the video 
quality doesn't look that great sometimes. I apologize for that. I hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, usually I only have like 94 frames dropped. I mean, usually I only have 4 frames dropped, but here I have 197, which is not good. I don't know what caused it. I'll exit out of my, some of my message, messenger program. Gonna collect some eggs here, so I'm cheaper and low on them. We don't really need the feathers as much. We collected the present that, that was inside. When I was a kid, I didn't know you could climb inside the tree, so it took me forever to finally figure that out, and I wasn't able to. Did I grab that jiggy up there? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So we're gonna grab all these feathers here, because we're gonna need those in a bit. Just as soon as you collect this Jinjo and fall off the edge. Oh, Molo token there. I think we need 15 to transform in this world. So we're good there. And we're gonna get rid of the snowmen, because they're just annoying. Okay, we don't want to fall down while we're doing that. Bullseye. There's our first honeycomb piece, but we're not going to grab that yet. There's our second present. And that's alright, you know. It didn't go high enough there. Gold feather is always nice. So we just need to find the rest of them. And that's not good. It's gonna be tough to aim. If you've played Banjo Tooie, you'll you'll have noticed that you can Okay, there we go. That you can, you've noticed that you're allowed to control yourself to some extent while you while you beak dive. Like you can adjust yourself upwards, or you can kind of go down. Just kind of like keep yourself from crashing into somewhere or, or dodging. But this game, you just go straight. You can't control yourself, and that's kind of annoying. And we're, it's good we had all those feathers, because we took, we, we used up a lot getting to the top here. Alright, you got all those. There's a lot of things we do on the snowman. And while making this would be, and that, that just really sucks. If we, if we're lucky, we can, and that doesn't even matter. Wow, that's just fantastic. I was thinking I'd have a great run through on this level, but that just that just happened, and that really sucks. Now that jiggy up there, that's a bit tougher to get once we get back to Grunty's lair.